What else crazy happened on EDM Twitter besides flame eating ass? Oh yeah, <laughs> the boofing thing. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's Krista Sue. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to be doing a little uh, chit chat, get ready with me action, because uh, I have been going through it. Um, and I just feel like I need to sit in front of a camera and talk to you guys and kind of give an update on what's been going on in my life because it has been uh, crazy. I have a giant monitor in front of me right now and it's just showing me how um, sickly I look. So let's get started. So basically, I started this YouTube channel at the most like inconvenient time in my life because I just moved to Oregon from Washington. My boyfriend started law school. It's really hard to talk and like do things at the same time. I don't know what I got myself into. Okay. And I've moved around a ton in my life. So I'm kind of used to this weird like limbo stage, but shit gets lonely, bro. Like he's at school all day and I am currently unemployed. Yeah, I'm unemployed and I'm like looking for jobs and stuff, but now I've we've been here for like a month so now I've made friends with like his friends and stuff and I have like buddies or whatever but it still gets like pretty lonely and I've been spending a lot of time by myself and generally I'm like a total introvert like I really really like being alone that's where I thrive but um I've been like starved for social interaction <laughs> so yeah I guess I'm just kind of getting used to like being by myself more which is definitely like good you know it builds character but Oh, I went to uh, Above and Beyond Group Therapy at The Gorge uh, last month, and I thought about vlogging it, but the people that vlog regularly in public don't get enough credit. <laughs> it is so awkward and uncomfortable, and like you really have to go out of your way to do it, and I really wanted to, but I also just wanted to like not worry about filming and stuff because when I was at Paradiso filming and stuff I feel like I was like oh I have to like get a shot of this or something and I think it kind of like took away from the experience so I mean I'll have to find a balance for that in the future. It was fun though I mean I like trance music but there the the kind of sucky thing about being at an all trance event is that um Trance gets like really repetitive and there were times where I was sitting on the hill like fuck am I in a thought loop right now? <laughs> like what is going on? What was super different about it than other festivals I feel like was that when you go to other events uh, I feel like because I'm 23 and I feel like I'm kind of on the older end sometimes when, when I'm at events because I see a lot of like 18 year olds running around but at this one I, they were like I saw quite a few people in their like 50s in sometimes like 60s like lots of middle-aged people and then like most of the people I met and talked to they were like in their 30s or late 20s not hating on um people that are younger than me or anything but I feel like it made the festival like a little bit chiller yeah I liked it I love parody so still though and I'll still go like every year now I just shape my brows with concealer but yeah this is the first time that I've gotten an apartment like like actually done the full like apartment hunting process independently you know and because my boyfriend and I were like young you know like we just started building credit and stuff um, and we don't have much apartment like history or like history renting places finding apartments was like really difficult um, and it just showed me that like if it was difficult for us and we're like stand-up citizens you know we're like good tenants um, and we have decent credit and everything and we had a co-signer and stuff like it was still difficult for us to find an apartment so I just think that like as if this isn't obvious enough but like this system just perpetuates homelessness and I'm just like what if someone was really trying to get back on their feet and they just can't because the system makes it impossible it just really bothers me I'm honestly shocked at how well my um what to wear to a rave when you're not skinny video like did so well considering I had like no subscriber I started out like on a blank slate the video has been doing really well and I've been getting a lot of positive feedback on it 
Um, and I want to do another one, but I'm like, <laughs> I can't just afford to go out and buy a ton of rave clothes all the time. Like, I like to, like, try and save my money, and I'm also, like, don't have a job right now, so I need to, like, conserve my funds as best as possible. Um, but I want to make that another one of those as soon as possible, because uh, I just love that so many people are like, this video really helped me, like, you made me feel, like, better because of this. Oh, I feel like this is kind of, like, big news, I guess. I've lost, like, 40 pounds. I think I'm 42 pounds down now. And I feel really good. I want to lose more. It's not so much that I, like, wanted to be skinnier, but I was just at a point in my life where I just didn't feel good. <laughs> I was so sick of it. So I started like working out more and like eating healthier and just being more conscious of what I'm doing to my body. I want to lose more. I have a goal, but um, would you guys want to see like a video on like what I eat or like what I do to like lose weight? Just let me know. Comment down below if that's something that you'd want to see. Okay, what do I do next? Um, I don't wear, like, foundation, and most days I just wear concealer under my eyes, but I think, but when I do go, like, all out, I put concealer on, like, quite a bit of my face. I don't know if that's, like, the right thing to do, but that's what I do. Um, I'm sorry if I'm, like, looking off. I have a mirror over here, so sorry if you feel a little, a little neglected. <clears throat> the bitch needs coffee. Mm. So good. Um, I have like excess concealer on my hand and I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. And I use the Maybelline Fit Me. Oh, I look so much better. That made such a difference. <laughs> okay. Oh, I had my first job interview um, yesterday actually and I think it went well. I mean, obviously it was kind of awkward at parts, but interviews are just an awkward thing anyway so there's no point in basking in that awkwardness you know like it's normal um i was definitely qualified for the position so we will see if they ask me back if not it's not the end of the world i'll just be poor it's fine i've been using this concealer all over like parts of my face for a while now and um I think it might be breaking me out, but I don't really know. <laughs> oh god, I just got like black all over my face. Where did that even come from? Whatever. I like rub it in, I guess. Yeah, I want to be putting out more content now that I'm like all settled and stuff like that. Um, when I started this channel, I was just like in this really weird like limbo in my life, you know? Um, but I will definitely be putting out stuff more regularly now. Um, I have quite a few good ideas, um, it's just executing them. There's this one I want to do, I want to like wear rave clothes in public for like 24 hours, like do multiple changes and just like see how people react and stuff like that, and see if I like get kicked out anywhere of anywhere. Um, I think that could be really fun, especially because the place I just moved to I've noticed is kind of... I don't know, the people would just seem a little bit more conservative, I guess, um, even though it is Oregon. Um, I don't live in like Portland or anything. But I also don't know if anyone will react at all because like I live in a place where the homelessness is pretty rampant, so there's kind of like crackheads running all over the place all the time, so um, what I'll be doing isn't that crazy. But yeah, let me know if that's something that you'd want to see. I think it could be like a fun idea. More concealer under the eyes because we are a tired girl. I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine consumption though because it's been a little out of control. Cause I do like, I'm just like so addicted to caffeine, aren't we all? But um, sometimes when I'm bored, I just like drink a lot of caffeine just to like get an edge, you know? Like, oh, I'm such a loser. Okay, this is gonna, people are gonna like cringe at this. I like don't set my face. I just like don't need to. I don't know why, but things like just dry down nicely on me and like my under eyes don't really crease or anything, so I just don't do it. I know it's like totally against the rules or whatever. Um, I also, I just got this um, Glossier Cloud Paint blush in Beam and I really like it. It's so pretty. Oh, I just used like a fuck ton. Um, oh, okay. 
um, and I just like tap it on my cheeks. The pigment is just like, so pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this like cloud paint on my eyelids today. I think it might look cute. It also might look awful. We'll see. It's funny because I usually like always get ready to like get ready with me use our YouTube videos and now I'm filming one so <laughs> I don't have anything to listen to that's like weird for me. Does anyone else like listen to YouTube videos while they're getting ready? Are you getting ready right now with me? Oh how cute. Uh, I like don't wear eyeshadow ever so this is quite a bold move for me. <laughs> this might be a bad idea. There are quite a few shows coming to Portland, like quite a few DJs coming to Portland this fall and winter and I really want to see them because um, Matt Dion's coming and I really like his new song that he released and I'm interested to see if the rest of the Good Faith album is like good. GTA is coming and I like them. Oh fucking Bear Girls is coming to Portland. Did I get blush right there? Whatever. Does this look good? Yeah, but I saw Bear Girls at Paradiso for the first time and like, oh, uh, now I just want to follow him literally everywhere because his entire set was so, so good. Uh, I am very pink. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, how about Bloom eating ass on stage at Burning Man? How about that, huh? I thought that was funny. I don't know. <laughs> He's Flume, he can literally do whatever he wants, so. What else crazy happened on EDM Twitter besides Flume eating ass? Oh yeah, <laughs> the boofing thing. <laughs> because I was like late on the game with the whole like boofing thing at Base Canyon, I had to like scour Twitter to find that video and I found it. Like do whatever you want, as long as you're not hurting other people, I usually, I don't care. And I prefer people be safe about what they're doing, but if they decide not to, I just want them to not hurt other people. Um, but it just sucks that, one, it was just so dumb of them to put that on the internet. Like, what? Do you have no regard for your future? I don't know, because that can be found pretty easily, probably. Yeah, and it just like doesn't look good for the EDM scene because we already get so much shit already about like people thinking that we're total druggies and that. I use L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This shit is amazing, guys. Like, I'm sure you've heard of it. Because you know how like some mascara, it only has like one sweet spot where you can use it for like a week and it makes your eyelashes look amazing? This always does that. I'm starting to look a little better. I'm starting to look a little good. I'm looking in the monitor and I'm like, ooh, who's she? Ooh. 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 <laughs> I really, really, really want to go to Electric Forest. That's like a goal of mine. I just know that like, because it's kind of far away, getting there and camping and everything would cost a lot of money and I just need to get to a point in my life. I'm trying to be responsible. Like I just like, I need to get to a point in my life where that, that cost wise isn't so out of the way. I just like don't like spending too much money, you know? So until then, I'll just dream. So yeah, I basically just apply mascara for three hours. More coffee! I have so much leftover cloud paint on my hand. Oh, I wasted it! Shit's not cheap! Highlighter! What was I thinking? Guys, we need highlighter. So I kind of just like binged on Glossier recently. Um, I got their uh, Dew Effect Highlighter and Halo Scope. And I've been liking it. I mean, I am one of those people that, like, I like to look like I'm, like, sweating and I'm, like, glowy, you know? I'm not super into, like, a really blinding highlight, and I know a lot of people are, so if you like that, you won't like this at all. Um, but it definitely gives me, like, a glow, and I like that, and I just, like, rub it in. Okay, I think I'm gonna do my hair a little bit off camera, um, fix it up. And then I'll be back to close this out. So what turned into me just sprucing up my hair uh, turned into me curling my entire head. So we're back. We're done. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, but um, considering what I looked like at the beginning, I think we're doing pretty good. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, me just 
talking about life. I've always wanted to do like a chit chat, get ready with me, yeah, because I love watching them. So I l hope you loved watching me. Yeah, let me know about all those video ideas I had down below if you'd want to see that from me. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you liked this video and subscribe to me if you want to. Um, if you made it this far, I must have some redeeming qualities. So <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.